Hi, I'm Ruth Almidzai Kemp. I'm going to be reading from Trees for the Absentees by Ahlam Bisharat. This is a teen or young adult novel from Palestine, um, a translation from Arabic by me and Sue Copeland. And it's about Philistia, who's a student in Nablus, Palestine. And she also works in a hammam. Um, and she's having a love affair with a man who worked in the same hammam a hundred years ago. Bayraktar. We walked, Bayraktar and I. I told him that I would see him in my dream if he didn't appear in reality. I told him that I went to sleep in order to see him. He said he also looked forward to me going to sleep so he could see me. So I slept and we walked, Bayraktar and I. I told him I was afraid of the city and he told me that he didn't know the city but that I shouldn't be afraid. No one knows anything in this country, I told him. No one has a clue. They're all just sleepwalking. After a pause, I added, but Grandma Zahir knew everything. Then I asked him another question. Do people know anything in your day? No one knows anything in your day and neither did they in mine, Philistia. If they did, they wouldn't have lost their country. He added, perhaps my grandfather died because he tried to find out. The martyrs and the prisoners are trying to make sense of it, I said. After a pause, I finished my thought. I always thought I knew something, that behind my silence lay my complete knowledge. He who enters the hammam is not the same as he who leaves, he said, quoting the proverb. And you're the expert, you should know. Fatia also once said this to me as a joke. I guess we never come back from anywhere the same person as we are before we go. There is no complete knowledge, Bairakda. I've started to realise this. University isn't a place of complete knowledge. University is like a bridge to knowledge. And Safa, Miss Know-It-All, she doesn't know anything either. Neither does my mum. She never has any answers when I ask her about Dad, like when will he get out of prison? When will the occupation leave him alone? Or whenever my brother Saeed asks, all childish and innocent, when will Palestine be liberated? Mum never has any answers. She just says, I don't know. There is no truth that we can ever fully know, darling. And what is truth, Phyllis dear? Something we can believe in at any one time, and that we can hold in our hands like a body that surrenders completely to our touch. And if it doesn't surrender to your touch, we'll make it surrender, by Rakhdar. I then said something that made me feel like that woman who comes to the hammam every month. You have a funny name, by Rakhdar. What could I turn it into? By Radar, Barricade, Barracuda. Bairakda smiled and asked which one suited him best. I thought for a moment, playing around with his name. Bakaroo, Barkook, Plum. Bairakda laughed and his teeth flashed bright white. He said, Barkook and Fasulia, the plum and the bean, the fruits of two different plant families. Well, you're a fruit and I'm a vegetable, I was quick to add, staring unabashedly into his eyes as I spoke. His face seemed bright, radiant. Absent-mindedly, I added, you're a plum I can pluck from the tree with my eyes. And my hands, he asked, taking my hands in his. Your hands are your eyes. I see a reflection of myself in them. He replied in a gentle voice, softer than I'd ever heard, softer even than Grandma Zahir's. They're a mirror, just like yours. I slept and we walked, by Rakhdar and I. In my dream, I told him, I know you well, by Rakhdar. Don't leave me on my own. Knowledge is love. But you and I live in different times, he replied sadly. Our home is in our imagination. Let's plant a garden in our imagination then, I said. A garden of fruit and vegetables with a plum tree and a beanstalk. The beanstalk will climb up the tree and the plums and the beans will intertwine as they hang down. So no hand or eye can come between me and you. By right, I laughed. And the plum tree was planted in my heart and from it hung countless ripe barkuk plums wrapped in an embrace with endless green and yellow fasolia beans. Thank you.